Welcome to another day in the matrix, waters above crypto, I'm sending you all love and high vibrations. That Ethereum analysis we did yesterday is playing out beautifully, and today we're going to follow up on yesterday's video, jump into the Bitcoin and XRP charts so I could show you what to look out for on tonight's daily close, since it will be both a two-day and three-day closure, and the macro time frames are very important when you're doing technical analysis. So if you're new here, we do cryptocurrency technical analysis and combine it with gamatria, numerology, and astrology to understand these markets. Feel free to subscribe and turn on the bell notification to stay updated on when new videos come out. And make sure to give this video a like and share this channel with other conscious people to help grow this community. And for those of you that want to learn how to do technical analysis and combine it with Gamatria, you can join my mastermind course. My email is in the description box to get in contact with me for access to the course. And with that being said, let's take the red pill. So, just really quickly, right as I was starting to record this video, Ethereum has started to break out. And this was sort of expected. We saw retests of lower levels, but overall maintaining strength in the chart. And now we've actually seen it go back to retest the highs of August 1st and a breakout, especially with a daily closure above 2700. We're looking for a continuation of the W pattern breakout all the way as high as $3,000. And I could show you that really quickly by turning off all the indicators. We had a clean W right here. We have our neckline retests of the neckline yesterday and with a break of that level you start to continue now this is not a good time for people to be considering opening longs that's actually what most retail investors are probably going to try doing they're going to start to see a breakout they fomo into a seven percent pump on a daily candle and they get wrecked so i'm not saying this is going to stop moving up but i'm just saying that that's the psychology of traders they typically wait to see green candles when in actuality they probably should have been setting up yesterday or better yet they should have been setting up around the full moon like we do here we focus on the lunar cycles and these moon cycles are super important to focus on every single time we're seeing these new moon full moon structures we're continuously getting our lows as you can see right there look at that it's a full moon you're getting your lows on the first V of the W, then you have another full moon, and within four to five days you had your low. That would have been a much better entry when Ethereum was down at $1,700, not waiting till it's almost 3000 But again, that's how traders think, and that's why 95% of traders lose money. So let's move on. We're just going to quickly look at the dollar index because it's very strong today. And that's interesting because we're seeing the DXY pumping and we're seeing the traditional markets react to it the way that they usually do, meaning green DXY is a red market. But we're seeing crypto is very bullish. And that's kind of what it's what's interesting about crypto is it's such a nascent technology that sometimes you can see days where the traditional markets are behaving as normal. And then you're seeing crypto sort of doing its own thing. And that's what's uh, been so fun about this cryptocurrency journey you know it, it, it operates uh like under chaos of sorts <laughs> and that's kind of why i've been using this gamatria numerology astrology connection because it's a uh, extra layer of confluence for some of the price action that we get and anyways what i just want to quickly say about this chart is we're seeing a very nice support around this 236 and i was telling you guys about that i would not feel confident in a full breakdown on the dxy until we get a weekly closure below this 236 and you can see we have not yet to have that occur and now it's looking pretty bullish but that's kind of just normal you know it'll chop around the 236 is a very very strong support level most of the time when you get a bullish breakout but because we've seen a fake out breakout on the DXY on this trend line, and I'll show you this trend line, I'll shut off this moon cycles because it doesn't actually matter on the DXY. And look at this. So we have this trend line we've been talking about because it's a very long term trend line. It flipped as a resistance back in September uh, 28, and that now has been over 300 days of resistance. And this would be a fake out breakout or a pullback when the price breaks through a trend line and then it actually gets sunk 
taken back in. And you won't be able to confirm this as a full-blown breakdown until you get lower lows. And right now, the lows are sitting around 91.5, and the price action today, we're sitting at 92.3. So until this gets actual closures below the 236, I don't suspect it to start going to the lows. Now, with that being said, there's some things to look at. First of all, the two-day MACD looks terrible and the sorry, the the daily MACD looks bad. The two-day has crossed bearish and the three-day is looking to cross bearish very soon. It's sort of flatlining and they're uh, pinching together the two moving averages. But overall, I do suspect that this will start to head to the downside with some bearish divergences along the way on the RSI. And then we'll just basically have that start to break down towards this lower trend line right here, which has been our key support level. And we've only seen two touches on this trend line and a third touch is when you confirm it as a true support. So we'll just have to see how that goes. Uh, gravity to this level of 89.8 or so, looking around the fall time, that would be pretty damn bullish for cryptocurrency, especially Bitcoin. Bitcoin reacts very nicely to this DXY most of the time. So when there's a very bearish DXY, Bitcoin is very strong, and if Bitcoin dominance is up, of course, you're not going to see that action in the altcoins necessarily until Bitcoin pulls back, but we'll wait till that kind of stuff comes to fruition. Now, let's just get into Bitcoin and see what's been going on. We're seeing a bullish pump in Bitcoin, but this is kind of just what we anticipated. I talked about this yesterday, how we should get a support at the 236. We haven't quite touched it perfectly yet but again like come on the the wick came down to uh what is it 37,500 and the 236 is 37,300 so it's basically a confirmed bounce now this could be kind of looked at as a bull flag i don't really want to touch on that today but for xrp it's definitely looking like a bull flag so we'll touch on that when we do the xrp analysis but with this being said, you know, after having nine, 10 straight day, days in a row of green, um, seeing four or five days of red is definitely what we should anticipate. And a bounce off of this 236 is very, very bullish. So anytime we're going to get a break above this level of 42,600, that would confirm the 236 as an extremely uh, strong support. And then for all the people out there that think Bitcoin's going to 20K next, I would say, you uh, yeah, that's sad because you don't understand technical analysis. You don't understand how charts work. And most likely, if we're going to break out above the 42,700 level, we would anticipate a gravity back to the 236 for one final retest before we continue the rest of this bull run. So that 37,000 level is pretty damn strong. And I would suspect if I brought up my VPVR, I would get some. Uh, yep. Perfect. Look at that. So the VPVR point of control sitting right at 37,900 and we didn't even get a daily close below that level so that's the strong support and that was why it took a while to break through that level too now that we've broken through it we've back tested it this is very nice to see and i wouldn't even be surprised if um there was a smaller w pattern in the works like that and that would be very nice to see so for instance what we were just talking about with the ethereum chart on a longer time frame that big clean w we could probably see a shorter term w form where um we get that breakout or i don't really want to spend too much time thinking about patterns because patterns are, are a little bit weird when it comes to crypto especially how strong this new and full moon is but i'm just laying that out there that that could be a possibility on something like the four hour chart where you basically just see a w form where this is your first V right here. You do something like this, and then you see your breakout after the new moon. That's more of what I'm anticipating, actually. I'm anticipating to see the uh, newer highs above 42,000 after the new moon. We could get it earlier, though. I mean, it's a sneeze for Bitcoin to move from where it's at right now to 42,000. We're only looking at a, a move as minuscule as 7, per, 7 or 8%. And you know crypto. This stuff could... <laughs> you could see Bitcoin put on an 11% daily candle, uh, like no problem. So let's just look at some of the technicals here of what's going on with our moving averages. And I'm going to show you the... 
It looks as if what we brought up yesterday about holding the 13 EMA as a support was textbook. You can see holding the 13 and we've gotten those wicks down to the 236, which is this line right here, as mentioned. And that's pretty damn close to the 21 exponential. Now, the 21 exponential is sloping upwards. So as it maintains its bullish posture, a retest of the 21 is, is normal in bullish continuation as well. So if this was to... Um, Con, con, like continue to the upside, I would also look to the 21 exponential as a retest for any corrections moving forward. The reason why I, I've just said that is because we've seen these EMAs flip bullish. So the exponential 13 above the 21 above the 34, when you're seeing these flip bullish, that's where the 21 exponential becomes stronger. When it's flipped bearish, that's when the 21 EMA is typically your resistance. So just think about it flipped now. Now that these exponential have flipped the 21 should be your your very key support and daily closures below the 21 would be bearish bias so until Bitcoin starts closing dailies below the 21 I just kind of look at this as a as a back test of lower levels confirming support and continuation is underway and of course with patience you know we gotta we gotta let these plays uh, take their time although it's crypto and there's instant gratification here and everyone's like super bullish once the prices start going up it's important that people just be calm and understand that we're in a reaccumulation phase we're not in a parabolic v-shape recovery just yet we're not going to be seeing all these cryptos just go back to all-time highs tomorrow it's going to take some time to play out. And if there's an isolated cryptocurrency that you're looking at that's creating all-time highs right now, good for you. Uh, but honestly, those plays can also peel back another 50%, 60% over a two-week period in the event of looking at the charts. And we've done this time and time again. On my Red Pill episodes, I get plenty of charts that I see where there's this one isolated all-time high. You look at the RSI on the two-day, it's sitting at 87, and then that shit just starts to peel back. It'll lose 60% of its value over the next uh, two five-day candles, and then it'll start to hold support. So, of course, there's isolated incidents because there's 11,000 cryptocurrencies, but 90, 95, 99% of them are basically shit coins, so they're irrelevant. And the only chart that's really mattering when it comes to the energy of this sector is the dollar, is the uh, Bitcoin chart in the dollar. When you're paying attention to Bitcoin and the DXY, you could get a lot of your answers. And along with the Ethereum and XRP charts, you can save yourself a lot of time a lot of um confusion a lot of um you know searching around for all this excess information on some isolated crypto that has a market cap in the rank 200 spot <laughs> it's it's kind of interesting I, I brought this up to my uh some of my supporters recently in a live stream where I was saying that the average crypto investor will wake up in the morning, they'll go to coinmarketcap.com and then they'll try to search for the highest gainers. And then that whole day, they'll just think about FOMOing into those projects. It's insane. I would consider doing the opposite. Wake up, find the most undervalued stuff, the stuff that's getting beat down. That's your opportunity, <laughs> not the other way around. So let's look at some of these uh, higher time frames. We've got the two day coming in tonight, and that is beautiful to see that wick down to the 34. We see that this is starting to flip bullish because the 13 has crossed above the 21. Now what we would like to see is this 13, the blue moving average cross above the 34, and for these all to flip bullish as well. So you can see right here, the red is above the orange, above the blue. We want those to flip in reverse, and then what we were talking about with the daily chart will come to life on the two day. As it continues, up the uh, ladder from the daily to the two day to the three day etc that's where you're going to get strength in the chart so with this being said back test of the 34 on the two day and these are all sloping upwards very bullish let's look at the three day <laughs> So the three-day looks great. You could see clo multiple closures above the 34 EMA. Again, the 13 sloping bullish. When this 13 crosses the 21, it's going to gain even more strength. And look at where that's intersecting. It's intersecting right at the 236. So once these two moving averages on the three-day start getting above the 236, this will be an even better support level. Consider that. And having multiple daily closures above this 34 on the three-day is also very strong. Let's look at some other things going on. So you could see 
that the eight is flipping up nicely as well and the three day is starting to have a little bit of a, of a negative slope but that's okay we kind of like that at this time because when this eight simple crosses above the 55 simple we get my favorite bullish cross and that'll be very nice let's look at that in the two day oh that's even more clear so i'll remove these exponentials i'll hide the drawings and i'll show you guys exactly what i'm looking for right now you see this 55 simple being a noticeable rejection area, noticeable resistance. Then you see this 8 simple on the 2-day being a, a very nice support. We even got a back test yesterday of this level. But it's sloping heavily to the upside while this is kind of going to start flatlining. This will be a bullish cross that will be textbook. Once this cross comes in, I believe Bitcoin will start heading up into that mid-40,000 level. So we'll see 44, 46,000. And... Honestly, anywhere between 48 to 51 K is possible this month. Um, it might be one of those scenarios like we got in last month where we clear through the full moon and then it just continues going up after getting out of that full moon negative energy, that bearish energy. So let's see what we can look at in the five day chart, because that's another one that I believe. Yep. Looking great. So these are sloping positive, which is a good sign. And a closure above this five, uh, 55 simple on the five day, which will be coming in on August 9th. That'll be very nice to see as well. That's anything above 40,000. So just to give everyone kind of a, a longer, slightly longer term play, any closure for Bitcoin before the end of this weekend at 42,000, that would be very bullish. So if it could get to this weekly close above 42K, I would consider that for continuation for the following week. We're kind of in a pivot week right now. We've had literally a straight week of green last week. Now we're just kind of like, you know, building support. And then this week will be the pivot week leading us up into the um, new moon and then the new moon can give us bullish energy up to five days after the new moon so again be patient because this can take up till august 13th which is a friday the 13th so before we move into the xrp chart go ahead give this video a like and give us a subscription if you are new here and you like what we're doing look at this bull flag yeah i mean i would call this a bull flag on the xrp chart let me remove all this nonsense <laughs> Man, I'm, I, I woke up this morning, I had a coffee outside, and it was so beautiful, but there was like a hundred planes above me, all spraying out those chemtrails, and now I have the chemtrail flu. Um, if you don't, if I don't make a video tomorrow, I'm sorry guys, I got the, I got the, the, the virus, I got the virus, no, just kidding. We all know that's bullshit. So anyways, let's move on, and look at that, yeah, we're looking at about 95 cent. That would be about the play that I would uh, anticipate as well. I, I do suspect there's opportunity for a dollar, but probably later into the month of August for XRP. But let's just kind of, you know, move through this. We can see that 70 cents is holding. That's beautiful. A touch on the, let's see the exponentials. Great. So we got a back test on the 13 exponential. We could see that the 13 has flipped above uh, this 34 yep sorry and the 21 is about to intersect above that 34 as well and this will finally be in bullish posture so remember what I said we want to see the 13 above the 21 and the 21 above the 34 and that's coming in very soon so once that clears through this chart will start to catch up to the Bitcoin chart in regards to the strength of it and then we should start seeing a move up to this 236 level and because this bull flag measured move is looking at about the 95 cent level let me show you that real quick. I'll do from candle bodies to candle closes just to be kind of fair here. And then I'll do from the wick as the half staff. And we're looking at 92 cents. So it's still anything above this 236 would be amazing for XRP. Because then by the time it gets to that price, all of our moving averages on the two day, three day, five day time frames, they should start to flip into, into a more bullish posture. We should start to see a five day MACD cross bullish and all of these things confirmed will mean that once it gets above that 236 then the 236 will hold support that's what we want we don't just want this shit going up to a dollar 50 and then peeling back down to 60 cents again we want 
strength we want structure so with that being said that's how the technicals play out and that's kind of what we want so if we don't get a dollar xrp like next week just chill out it could take until after the full moon to clear out and then overall that's enough time to build strength in the higher levels we've bottomed like this is a textbook double bottom that we got at the 50 cent level. That's beautiful. Now filling out this 70 cent level, you could see there's no trading range in here. Confirming this previous high as a new support, followed by fulfilling this bull flag. Maybe even filling up this lower 80 cent level would also be very bullish. And I suspect that would be the case because the 236 is typically a resistance before it flips as a support. So let's look at the 200s and see what's going on there. That's really the problem. So the 200 exponential has been a noticeable daily close resistance. You could see it did sort of get one day above it, but ultimately it just couldn't hold. And that's what's created this um, kind of 75 cent resistance. Now I, I'm waiting more on closures above the 200 simple, like I've been talking about in a ton of my videos. And since this eight simple is about to cross above the 200 exponential, that's a sign of strength. That's a sign that this chart will start looking better especially when this 55 starts flatlining and sloping to the upside this 55 is, was just cascading to the downside and whenever you're seeing a negative slope on a longer term simple moving average that's bearish so of course we're in a bearish structure because you know last month or two months ago it was trading at a dollar and now we're trading at 70 cents so again we need to see this uh, exponential moving at this moving average starts to slope upwards and then everything will be sloped upwards and that would show us some strength as well. Remember, moving averages are lagging indicators and that's why I wasn't talking about them back here because the price fell too quickly and all of the moving averages needed to catch up. Now that we're starting to see market structure, I'm including the moving averages again in my technical analysis because now they work better again. And when the exponentials and the simples move uh, work really well, along with our Fibonacci um, retracements, that's like the most simple TA that is the most effective, even with cryptocurrency. It's just a lot of people don't pay pick the right exponential moving averages and simple moving averages the ones that i pick are fibonacci numbers and that's because they're better overall numbers to use and they typically give us better data so this three days looking uh kind of bad actually three day doji no bueno especially while red i would like to see tonight a 75 cent closure if that's possible i don't <laughs> That would take a lot, but the 75 cent closure would be great. I don't think it's going to happen, though. Uh, this is probably going to trade sideways for a little bit of time. Uh, while Ethereum is pumping, that means ETH dominance is growing. And when ETH is really pumping, some of the coins that are kind of tethered to the Ethereum price will do well. Like Chainlink has always done well when ETH is doing well. Polkadot will do well when Chainlink is doing well. So the whole ecosystem will move other ecosystems accordingly. XRP is kind of like part of its own genre. So this will be interesting to see how this all plays out with Ethereum. Ethereum pumping and if, if and Ethereum got a very sharp rejection just during this video I've seen the price out the corner of my eye and we're looking at two, 2600 so it has gotten rejected right at that top wick when I started this video it was at that level again like this is kind of something that people need to be more patient on because the whales they put their cell walls right at the levels that they know people are going to start piling in with the longs they're very very smart <laughs> so it's just funny to me how how people wait for these tops and these big green candles to fomo in and then they just get smashed down by these cell walls that come in from the whales so anyways yeah i would like to see the xrp price getting above that 73 74 cent level obviously overtaking the eight simple moving average which any closure above 74 cents would uh bring that into a more bullish buy Bias, and then seeing this 55 starts a flat line and then slope to the upside that's kind of the big key to me that this chart is going to start uh, gaining some strength but for now this does look like a potential bull flag in the in the works the uh, conservative measured move puts us around 92 cents again that could play out all the way over the next 20 days or so so it's just important to be patient and kind of just let this uh let this all play out and see how this goes but while it's in a downtrend in a macro uh perspective 
it's not it's it's a good thing to see actually it's good to see that xrp is starting to behave a little better it's not just like massive 30 percent candles to the upside like we've seen before sometimes xrp it just gets too bearish and then it gets way too bullish and that's a sign of you know the rsi gets overheated and then it's time to correct but anyways there this was one of our longer videos i um will be very busy tomorrow working on some things i have a surprise podcast coming i have a bunch of projects in the works so i'll probably be taking tomorrow off but anyways i'll be active in my discord and patreon of course for those of you that are looking to learn how to do technical analysis and combine it with gamatria you can join my mastermind course and then also the patreon link is in the description box below it's the beginning of the month if you're looking to sign up for the mastermind community membership it's been amazing meeting all the new people that have joined much love to all of you and enjoy the rest of your day in the matrix much love